Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Heavy Hall, an American Truck Simulator with me, Wolfgang. And uh, we have a treat, a helicopter and it's, it's snowing. Oh, it's a helicopter, a Sikorsky, a big one. And we have a really long trailer as well, with articulated and everything. We're going towards the uh, lighter ones. So, um, we're going from Riverton to uh, Pendleton? I don't know. Pendleton. Something like that. It will be in the description. So, um, this will be fun. A yeah, I'm supposed to get out from get get out of here. Okay. Will I will I make it? Oh yeah, I made it. Okay, that was close. Um Yeah, so where did we leave off last week? And um story. Uh, let's see, where did we leave off? Yeah, I was just about to go in and eat at the Bubba Gump's restaurant on the uh, Pier 5? 19? 20? Oh, something, a pier. <laughs> uh, I peer out over the ocean. Uh, so, um, and they had this system, uh, I've never seen it before. Is that uh, they show you show you to a table, you sit down, and uh, they come with a menu, and they had this thing beside that you uh, change it's like uh, looking at the menu, and then you change it to say that I want to order, and you sit and wait, and they the wait waitresses go around and they uh, see that you uh, have changed it, and they go up to you and say what do you want to order, and I. And you order what you want to eat. I took a, uh, a starter and a main. The starter was uh, five different shrimps. And I thought that was going to be like three shrimps of each. And they come in with this huge, like, I don't know what it was. Uh, it was like a statue with big, five big bags of different shrimps. And uh, it was almost like a main course. So, uh, and, and it was a lot. And uh, I finished that, and then he came with the uh, main. I had ordered some fish, I think. Some sort of fish. Fishing. And uh, it was amazingly good. It was a lot of food. And then, when you want, uh, you want the bill, you change it again. It says that you wanted the tab. And... Uh, they uh, see that and they come up and they and they like give you give it to you you don't have to tell them like hey i want the tab and then they go away and they give it to you, you know they they come with it says you have said that you want it and uh, and also they several times walked past and asked how it was and if i enjoyed the food and they were their staff was amazingly friendly so um uh, and then when you get the tab, you look at it, and then you change this thing one last time to pay. And they see that, and they come up with a card reader so that you can pay with card. It actually said at the restaurant, we only take cards, <laughs> no cash. It's the, the only place in the US I've ever seen that they say that no cash payment. Well, so... Um, and that, that's when uh, I um, noticed a problem. My I have two credit cards with me. And the first one is said declined. And I like, but I looked at it. I'm supposed to have plenty of money. And it was really weird. And uh, I checked my other card and that one works, fortunately. And uh, I kept like a book with all my expenses in order to see how much I have actually spent on everything. And uh, on this card, I'm I'm supposed to have uh, 
maybe in today's money like uh, seven hundred dollars or something like that on it uh, <clears throat> I was I was plan I was planning out and I'm planning to pay off the card a little bit later uh, when I had some when I had internet access on my room because when I sat in that other hotel, I was affected like in the foyer or the hotel. I didn't feel comfortable logging into my bank when I was sitting there. And uh, so I uh, find it really weird. And uh, I go, um, yeah, I go eat there and then. Uh, I uh, walk out to another part of the pier and there is like you can take a boat trip like a sightseeing around the Alcatraz and uh, the Golden Gate and the Oakland Bridge so I do that and when I go out from the boat leaves there are like a, a sea lions in in the harbor lying there and they are so loud with this uh, almost a um, like um, Barf, not barf. Can you say barf? Bark, bark, not barf. That's something else. Don't say barf. Bark, they bark, and it's definitely loud. Uh, but really, really funny to see all these uh, sea lions lying there. So we go out on, uh, and we take a trip uh, on the boat, and that's really, really cool as well to see that we take uh, like a trip around the Alcatraz and under the Golden Gate Bridge and over to the Oakland Bridge and after that I go back to the um, hotel in the evening and uh, when I get there the uh, receptionist ooh, that was close was uh, the same as when I checked in so she says oh by the way we have uh, the internet is working again and I'm like oh thank you so I go up to my room and I take my computer and I uh, and I log on to the, uh, uh, and the first thing I do is we check my my card, and I see that there is uh, like uh, yeah I think it was like seven eight hundred dollars that was reserved. I'm like, what? Why is so much money? I haven't paid anything that is so much. I thought, is it for the car? No, I've already paid for the car. So like what is it that and I check and it says uh, some sort of gas company I'm like why would why would they reserve that much money there's no reason for it so um, uh, I I call them up I check and I call them up and I and I tell them about it yeah and they said yeah where where did you uh, stop for gas and I had the receipt and I told uh, yeah, that is one of our uh, associates, smaller, uh, and due to the fact that um, how how the payment is made there, we always reserve this amount so we can sure to get the money. I'm like, yeah, I filled gas for maybe sixty, no, maybe less, forty dollars, and you reserve seven hundred. That is a little bit excessive. Yeah, but we have this uh, fixed sum that we always do. Yeah, but like, yeah, but I have paid it. Why, why can I get the money back? It's like, I need the money. You, you can't like keep it. Yeah, it usually takes um, about uh, five work days for, for our payment, for, for us to get the money. So that, like five work days. So you're saying that you're gonna keep all that money from me for five work yeah that's how we do it We're like that's silly that's like such an amount why well there are people that can uh, fill up like when you use a truck or something like that you fill up with a lot of money yeah but this is you can't park a truck at that uh, oh this is a bad road at that gas station but like so it was like i just had to accept the fact that they have reserved that much money on my card um, and I couldn't use it I was quite angry fortunately I had my other card and I had money on it 
so uh, I could use that card. But um, anyway, I was quite annoyed. Uh, so after spending time I uh, in San Francisco, I uh, this month I walked around and went to the uh, Golden Gate Park. That was amazing. that was really cool as well. Walked around and looked just looked at the, all the houses. Then I like I like doing that as well, looking at the architecture. And I tried to find the the Bart, but uh, my hotel was pretty far away from a Bart station, and so I actually didn't find one. I wanted to go on the Bart, but um, oh well. No, maybe next time I go there I can do that. Uh, so uh, I stayed over New Year's. So on, on New Year, I went down to the piers there and I looked at it was like a big fireworks uh, at the piers. That was quite cool as well. Down there looking at that. I like fireworks over the bridge. Uh, so, uh, and then I'm planning, I'm going to go from San Francisco over to Las Vegas. So I set out, I check out and I start driving and uh, my GPS, uh, I set, uh, sorry, I set the uh, destination though, for the hotel in Las Vegas and I start driving and uh, I see the uh, signs for Oakland and I know I've just checked on the map which shows I always check the map even though I have a GPS and it says that I'm gonna turn to get on the bridge so I turn and GPS starts like do a legal u-turn in blah 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 meters and I'm like what I'm driving along the road and I'm supposed to and I'm looking at it and I'm like why and I'm, I go up, up over the Oakland bridge everything is Fine, and but except the fact that the GPS keeps babbling that uh, I need to do a U-turn or take the next exit, and it was like, what? What is it doing? And I look, I look at the GPS, and my car is right there. I'm not on the bridge. I see the bridge on the GPS, but my car is right in 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 the water. So uh, there's something wrong. Was something wrong? So I just followed the signs, and. Uh, I drive out and I start driving towards the uh, Sierra Mountains, going to cross them in order to get to um, uh, Las Vegas. And this is when I notice how bad the car is. It was okay when I was driving along the Highway 101 because I wasn't really driving that fast on the road. But uh, uh, when I got up on highway speed and going to drive up these hills of the Sierra Mountains, the car doesn't like that at all. So it is a five speed automatic. Americans love automatics. And, uh, but as soon as it starts going up a little bit, it shifts down. So I'm, I'm here doing 70 miles an hour and it shifts down. <laughs> I just see the rev meter like going up towards the red. And I'm like, whoa! So I gotta slow down in order for not, for it not to go up to the red on the meter. Because it was like really revving. And I tried to get it to to shift down, but as soon but as long as I'm going up the hill, it doesn't want to shift up to the fifth gear. I guess the resistance how how the automatic works. Ooh, okay. Uh, just told it that. You need to go be in a lower gear, uh, which uh, and it kept doing like that. So I'm spending a lot of the trip upways listening to an engine completely screaming. <laughs> are we going? Are we going to go through the national park? Cool. Are we allowed to? Wrong way. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go through the national park with a helicopter. Cool. 
Oh well. <clears throat> and uh, I wonder how long this trip is. Um, and then I finally uh, reached the top, the crest of the mountain. We start going down. And uh, it starts getting more and more and more traffic. There's a lot of traffic going on. And I... Uh, And for some reason, I don't know, I don't remember exactly how, but I end up in the, um, in the outermost lane. And I, and I have cars on, on the inside of me, so I can't change lane. I have cars in front of me, so I can't go any faster. And all of a sudden, I, I hear, uh, like in the engine of a truck. And I look in my mirror, back mirror, rear view mirror. <laughs> And there's a truck, like a this big semi, like the one I'm driving here. Basically, ten meters behind me, doing seventy miles an hour downhill. And I'm like, what? What is he doing? One of my phone is ringing. Oh. Um, I don't know who that is. I can't take it. I got a call back. We're gonna hear that ring now. <laughs> I'm busy. I can't stop because then it's gonna complain. Typical. Always something ringing when. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, anyway, I stopped. Uh, if there's something important, they will call back. Probably. Um. So I'm really nervous. I'm boxed in by cars and truck, and this truck is getting closer and closer and closer. And all I see in the rearview mirror is this big front grill of the of the truck, and it feels like he wants me to like drive faster, but I have a car like in front of me, and I don't want to be too close to that car. But it's almost like the truck is like pushing me. So I I, I don't know why they. Uh, drive like that it's like insane downhill like that well uh, anyway after a while the traffic uh, clears and uh, I go come down and I'm starting to get hungry and it's probably three hour drive left to, uh, to Las Vegas and I think that no I'm not gonna make this I'm I need to eat something and uh, so I come in, I see a, uh, like a roadside stop and I walk in and uh, I stop the car and I uh, go into this place and I can say I walked in, looked at it and walked out. It was the filthiest restaurant I've ever seen. If everything was worn, it was dirty on the floor. It looked like there was, I think there was a, an old vomit on the floor of the restaurant and nobody cleaned it up uh, because it looked like that. And there was like things left on every table and there was one guy standing behind the counter looking absolutely bored so I turn around and about to walk out and uh, I hear a voice behind me like uh, uh, why you come in here if you're not gonna order anything <laughs> and I like turn around looks at him glances down at this vomit on the floor looks at him again turn around and walk out like indicating that you think I'm gonna eat here are you stupid and uh, and then I looked and there's another restaurant right next like a bit a little bit further away so I walk over there and that one was really nice normal so I sit down there and I eat and uh, just take a I think I took a burger or something like that it was a burger restaurant oh please don't stop too much 
and we're almost there. And then I uh, got in the car again, I filled up on fuel as well because I needed that. And uh, pedestrian? <coughs> They're talking about that. I've seen that they added pedestrians in uh, in a European truck simulator. So that's pretty cool. Government area. Ooh, well, I'm doing something uh, really I think cool here. So, uh, and I'm uh, continuing uh, driving into Las Vegas, which we'll start talking about in uh, the next one. So that will be a uh, fun one. My adventures in Las Vegas. Ah, so not so much adventures, but my time in Las Vegas. <coughs> so, uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, drive as well with this Sikorsky. It was pretty easy drive. Uh, where you want it? You want it over there? Oh, there you want it like lights yeah. um, hope you enjoyed this and you want to see more if you want maybe fling a subscription and a like and uh, are you and uh, hope to see you next time